Yo. Yo, yo, yo. I'm like a hot mess right now. I'm all over the place. Let me just tell you all this quick story. So I'm running around all these different CVSs. I hate going into Walmart. And am I the only one who hate that? I hate Walmart. I hate going into that store. I just hate that store. I would go to any other store but that store. So I said, let me just go to that store because, you know, that's supposed to be like the store that has everything. So is a certain, is a certain something I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm looking for a certain. I don't like the summer eaves. I don't like, like, I, I like, so I'll, I'll show you all what I'm talking about in a second. So I'm looking at all these CVSs and in this one CVS, I, 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 is a certain block in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, I do not like to go to. So I was trying to avoid that, that, that block, that CVS. So I said, you know what? Let me just go. So I'm so much in a rush. Like I'm just, re bimbo, relax, relax. So I, 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 um, I go to the CVS and mind you, I've been to like four CVSs. It's, it was like four, four to five different CVSs I went to. This was not the one I wanted to go to. So the one I, I didn't want to go to is what is the one that had the something I wanted. So anyway, that's not the point of this video. I'm such in a rush. I'm, I, you know, uh, I'm rushing, I'm rushing. So I leave the store and the car I'm driving right now is like. <laughs> I heard about you. I was waiting for you at the door, boy. You need glasses. You don't need glasses. You need glasses. You don't need glasses. You need glasses. You don't need glasses. You know, chicka 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 chicka. You need glasses. You don't need glasses. You need glasses. You don't need glasses. You need glasses. You don't need glasses. Chicka 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 chicka. You need glasses. You don't need glasses. You need glasses. You don't need glasses. You need glasses. You don't need glasses. You need chicka 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 chicka. Can somebody make that a song or a video? Yes, I'm giving permission to who anybody out there who do all that jigger jigger. Make that a video, a song. You need glasses. You don't need glasses. You need glasses. You don't need glasses. You need glasses. You don't need glasses. Jigger 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 jigger. Oh God. I need a drink. That's what I need. I need a drink. I need a drink, drink. I need a drink. I need a drink, drink. I need a drink. I need a drink, drink. I need to go. Mm, 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 mm. Let me sit up straight. My hair not done, y'all. I ain't go to the barbershop this week. My hair not did. I ain't fixed my wig this week. Sister Patterson, my wig ain't fixed, squirrel. So I had to wear old nasty, you know, whatever this is. You know, my hair ain't really, ain't done done. Um. Life is crazy. Life is truly crazy. And I honestly think we are all stressed out. We are all stressed. Some of you all are fine. Some of you all are okay. But a lot of us, we are just like, life is truly a roller coaster. They got ups and downs. And, and, and this is why I don't like roller coasters. I don't like all the ups and downs. This is why I stay on the bumpy cars. The bumper cars is just one drive. You, know, you might have a few bumps. But if you know how to pass people and, you know, it's fine. I, I can do the bumpy cars. But them roller coasters, nope. No, ma'am. This is why I don't go to nobody Six Flags. This is why I don't, nope. I'm not getting on nobody. I'll see you when you get down. I'll, 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 I'll hear you scream, but I'm not getting on nobody's roller coaster. Nope. No and no. Like, I remember seeing this video. These people got on, a, on one of them rides that go up in the air. I forget the video, but the people went up in the air and then the ride broke down and you seen them 
You see them same folks, they was flying all over the air and fell and people died and got killed. It was it was a whole mess. This is why I stay on the bumping cars. You can bump me, baby. Pull up to my bumper, baby. I will get on the bumping cars, get right off, and get back in line. Get off the bumping cars, get out the bumping cars, and get right back on line. The only rides I do at a... a a park is the ones that stay on the floor. Like I'll go in the uh, in the scary house with my little cousins, cause I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Of you. What? What Michael Myers? What Jason? That's it. But them rides that go ten thousand feet in the air, no ma'am. Use crazy. Get crazy. Go crazy. I'm not getting crazy. I'm not getting on that roller coaster. Anyway. I say all that to say life is crazy, man. And I honestly think like the only people who are at really like the only folks who truly are at peace, who are like just resting and are the people who are dead. Yes, the people who are dead them to me, I, f I honestly feel like those are the only people it might be a small percentage of people on this earth who at peace, you know, regardless of what's going on in this world, they're fine. You know, it is what it is. Um, it, it, it. I just want to say, Dana came to me again. Dana always come to me at a certain point. I, I, hey, Dana. Yes, my best friend who passed away. She always come to me. She always come to me. She came to me the other day, and it's, it's weird how she comes to me. Um, if you all follow me on Instagram, you know, I was I was, I was was listening to uh, Tony Tone Tone. No, was that Tony Tone Tone? Uh, what's the song called? Guy. Was it Guy? Who was I listening to in the car? Um, oh, no, no, no. Excuse me. After 7. No, not After 7. The Dill. Oh, my God. I only think of you on two occasions. That's day and night. Whoever that is. I was in the car. You all saw me on my Instagram. Go follow me, Bimbo Winehouse Instagram. And I was in a car. I was, that was one of our favorite songs. And she came to me again. I keep. I like to keep my little. Uh, I like to keep my little thing on. Um. On shuffle, like I just like any song I can listen to on there. I don't mind it. I have like a thousand songs on my. Where is it at? Where's my MP3 player? Here we go. I have an. MP, yes, I'm still old school. I have an MP3 player, and I keep this holds about a thousand to two thousand songs. So I keep it on shuffle. I don't like change. I just whatever song comes on is what I listen to. So. That song was on. I recorded my video for Instagram, you know, and I died. And she came right after that song went off. There's a song again by Trina, and that song came right on. That song came. I have over 2,000 songs on this. I have songs from the 80s, the 90s. Yes, I listen to com some current music. I love uh, Janine Oko, Ako, Aka. What, what's her name? Janine Oko. Whatever her name is. I have uh, her. Yes, I love her. And it, I have a couple other songs, you know, current songs that I, I like to listen to. But it's so strange how that one song we used to always listen to, I'm Showing Out by Trina. I'm Showing Out. I'm showing now. Uh, I said, Dana, you right here with me, bitch. I said, Dana, you are. I'm not gonna cry, but I said she's still here with me. It's so I, I it, she's still here with me. I don't care what no. She's still here with me. She's still here with me, even through spirit. She, she, she. she I heard her say it, bitch. If you don't stop that crying and sip you something and and do, oh, I miss my best friend. Um, but what, what, what was the purpose of me saying that? Oh, yeah. I honestly feel like the only people who are truly at peace in life right now are the people who are dead. So we cry so much for those folks who done passed away. When honestly, bitch, we are the ones suffering. Those people are at peace. They got doing no more stress of this world. They are at peace. And...
life, man. But you have to keep going. You can have you can have twenty bad days, and then that twenty first that could be the best day of your life. So you just gotta keep going and going until the Lord calls you home. That's the way I look at it. I, I you know, man, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, it's Bimbo Winehouse. Welcome to the Bimbo Winehouse Addiction Show. The legendary Sister Patterson with her mask on. Did any of you take that shot? Any of you, you know, you know the shot they want us to take. Did any, did anybody take the shot? I told somebody. I, I'm not gonna speak on that because apparently. YouTube is doing things to people who speak on all that craziness, so I'm not speaking on none of that crap. But I will say, if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. We like to have fun on my YouTube channel and just, you know, have fun. And, 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 and I don't get too serious on this channel. So please don't take my show too serious. You just have to laugh at a lot of things, honey, okay? So if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, speaking of thumbs, take your fat fingers and hit the thumbs up. Yes, just take your finger and hit the thumbs up on this show. <laughs> and to see the rest of that video that I played in the beginning, to see the rest of that video, you guys, um, please subscribe to my Patreon account. I now have a Patreon, um, <laughs> Patrol, you know, Patreon account, um, and if you want to hear the rest of that story, uh, which is crazy, <laughs> it's very crazy what happened to me this weekend and that story, so if you want to hear the rest of that story, please go subscribe to my Patreon account, it's, uh, Patreon, uh, slash B Winehouse. Yes, if you look below, it's Patreon slash B Winehouse. Also, the link is in the comments. So if you want to go subscribe to my Patreon account, please go subscribe. I'm going to have other videos on there. I have other videos on there right now. Um, I want to tell you all about, I, 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 well, my weekend that I had, it's up there. I was recording certain parts of my weekend. Yes, I was in a hotel this weekend. I told you why I needed me a little vacation. It wasn't long, but I had me a little. I'm starting to feel better. It is something about doing this. This is I know this is what I was born to do. I, I, guys, I feel so much better right now. I'm st only ten minutes in. I'm feeling. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling so much better doing this. I don't care what nobody says. Oh, he drank too much. You need to go see an AA person. <laughs> Baby, this is this is all the therapy I need now. I'm feeling so much better. Anyway, go to my Patreon account. Um, I'm telling you all about my weekend I had, plus the rest of that video that you saw. Also, what I really thought on the whole Trey Songs video, as you guys know, Trey Songs has has a video out. You know the video. You know what you know the video I'm talking about, girl. You know the video. I'm going to speak on it later on in the show, but if you really want to know what I think, you need to get to the Patreon and sign up. It's only $12.99, honey. $12. That's a pack of cigarettes. That's a pack of cigarettes for some of you all. Put them cigarettes down and get you something that could really save your life. Laughing. So get over to the Patreon. B Winehouse. I'm gonna tell you some things on here that I'm not coming on here saying. No, it's some things like I'm really getting into my thoughts over there. You all get into my mind. What I you see the real, real, real bimbo. And then the OnlyFans and stuff is coming up next week. Okay. Plus, let me tell you something. Let me be real with you guys. I have another video on there that I recorded. And it was basically letting you all know why I may not be moving back to New York no time soon. It's always something. This is how I'm telling you life is a roller coaster. Things can just happen like uh uh uh. Well, prior to me doing my notes for the show, I got a phone call. 
so it may look like I'm, I'm moving back to New York sometime in the next week it's 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 just a whole lot of it's a whole lot going on I will explain more on my patreon account if you join a patreon you can see the exact video of what I'm talking about of why I may not be going back to New York but like I said I got a phone call it looks like things here's the roller coaster it's going back up now things are looking different so I will explain that phone call on my patreon sometime Saturday or Sunday or Monday whenever I get get to it so you want some more, more exclusives of my whole situation join my patreon account it's B Winehouse I don't know what's gonna happen and frankly I don't care I really don't I'm I'm, I really don't care what's gonna happen. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway, you guys, I do have some stories for my YouTube show, so it's time for the topics that are. Topics that's hard. Ow, Topics that's hard. So this is actually some of the video of what I was talking about. <laughs> I was in a car, a hot mess, honey. This is some of the video. I was in drag, honey. Hey, D. Hey, D, D, D. So, uh, go to my Patreon account, like I said, to um, check out some of the videos for me from this past week. I need all the support at this point right now. And for you all who do join, I'll give you an update on what's going on there's a video in there if you watch it uh, I'm gonna give you an update of what happened after that but anyway welcome back to the YouTube show um I just wanna say you know to my bimmies hey bimmies love y'all but please do not tell me to be checking out no I don't please don't tell me to check out other YouTubers. Hey Bimbo, you should go check out this YouTuber. Go no, no and no. No thank you. Nobody messes with me and I don't mess with them. I stay to myself. I don't I don't I don't bother with these other YouTubers. They have their little YouTube groups and their little YouTube uh chat rooms and all that and they all I don't know. I stay far away. I do my own thing. Shout out to all the other YouTubers, but I honestly don't look at no other YouTubers. There is one lady I do check out. Her name is One Day of the Week. I'm not going to tell you the day, but you figure it out. Like, all she do is talk about Wendy Williams. So I check out her channel time to time. But other than that, I don't check out nobody else. I don't really don't, you know. So please don't come on here. Oh, no. I'm not. No, thank you. But, and however... If someone is talking about me, you know, then you can tell me, hey, Bimbo, this person talked about you. I don't mind hearing that, but I don't want, I, I don't check out, I don't do that. I'm good. I got to keep up with my own YouTube channel. I got time to be checking out other people's channels. No, thank you. But like I said, if it's uh, people talking about me, let me know what they said, honey. I know someone said recently that Star on the Star Report. Uh, you guys remember him, Star from Star Book Wild. Me and him are friends. Hey, Star. Me and Star never had no bad dealings. Me and Star, one time, we we were on the phone for like a whole hour and a half. Me, <laughs> me and him was just I was I was in the middle of the street sitting on a bench, and Star, me and him was just talking about everything. And I'm just like, Star, I gotta go now. He just bimbo, bimbo. I'm like, yes, Star. <laughs> but shout out to Star from the Star Report. I don't know what he said, but if one of you all can go find a video, let me know what was said. 
um, go look for the Star Report and I believe it's the video where he's talking about the Wendy Williams movie which I'm going to get to in a second but uh, let me know what he said because I'm sensitive I don't want to hear what people are saying if it's something mean I don't want to but I know Star he's not going to say nothing mean about him I, I actually appeared on one of his shows when he was back in New York that was like a couple of years ago Shout out to Star from Star and Broke Wild. Me and, Star, me and Star is good. Me, me and him is real. Recognize real. That's all I can say. He know I'm a. He know I'm a real fucker. He know I keeps it one hundred. So shout out to Star from the Star and Broke Wild. Um, but can somebody let me know what what he said? Go look for the Star Report. It's like something with the Wendy Williams show or something. Um. So yeah. And speaking of the Wendy Williams movie and show, um, I told you all I was going to the hotel this weekend. Like I wanted to go watch that movie in peace. When I watch movies, this is why I like to go to the movies alone. People don't understand why I like to do that, but I don't like. I need to. I'm. Wa I'm really watching this movie. I don't need to hear you distracting me. Say, oh, this is boring. Oh, I didn't like that. I don't care. I'm watching this movie. So when I watch movies that I really want to see, I need to see it alone. I need to see it in peace because I need to. I need to hear every, every, everything. So I went to the hotel this weekend, and um, I watched the movie, and then I watched the doc, uh, the documentary after. Uh, but before I get to that, I just want to say, I do have a story for you guys on my YouTube. So I went to the Kroger. There's a Kroger out here. I went to, and I went to go get my, uh, my liquor. And I know a lot of you all, I asked last week's show, what should I start drinking? A lot of you all told me to try the Grey Goose. Uh, it was like 15% the Ciroc. And 85% Grey Goose. But I'm not going to start the Grey Goose until I get back to New York. So it's still the Absolute. Ugh. Um, So I went to go get my Absolute. And some other things at the Kroger. So I rented a car this weekend. And as I'm getting in the car. I get in the car. And you know. And some older woman. Not black. Older woman, not black. Got it. She had to be at least 70. She looked like she was like 71 years old, 72. So I get in the car. And she comes. She looked like one of the golden girls. Yes, that's how old she was. One of the, the, the oldest golden girl. She comes next to the car. She's like, knock, knock on the window. I'm like, oh, God. Like, I don't talk to these people out here. So, like, what do you want? So I turned around. I'm like, yes. I didn't put the window all the way down. I put I put the passenger side window just and I made sure the door was locked. Just enough to hear her. She goes, Hi, hi Sunny. That's her first my name my name is not Sunny, it's Bimbo. What do you want, lady? Oh uh, I I'm I'm she said at age 70, 72 years old. And and uh I have some type of cancer, something she said. I don't I don't know. And um uh, I just need uh, uh, something and I did, did just a whole lot of it sounded to me as if she needed a ride somewhere and I said I'm sorry miss I'm in a rush and I pulled my window like she was asking me for something like like and I, I pulled the window up and sorry there's a whole bunch of people out here they help you peace I gotta go let me explain something to y'all first of all you are older woman in this parking lot. You are older, not black, but woman in this parking lot. You come into a little old black boy to ask him about something that that just didn't sit right with me. You are, lady, you are privileged. You first of all, you're not black. You're you're older. You look nice, and 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 you're privileged. And you come into an old ghetto looking dude to ask if you no ma'am I pulled that window up sorry hey sorry I don't know if that was like something from God hey look cause I watch a lot of news 
and those be the ones you think those be older people who need help but reality that be the help those be the ones who be kidnapping these people and, and helping the, the younger dudes and the younger people no do you understand what I'm saying like those be the ones who you think really need help what would have happened in my mind was I would have said Yes, oh golden girl lady, what do you need? Oh, Sonny, I just need a ride to to, to the down the block. And she thought I was gonna say, All right, golden girl, get in the car and I was gonna open up the car door and I would have let her in. She would have sat down there. We would have got halfway down the block. She would have went in her purse. Now look here, you you know, what you gonna do is you gonna three blocks down, you're gonna make a left. You gonna make a right. You gonna go up that hill. Well, Ohio don't have no hills. You gonna make a right. You gonna make a left. You gonna park. And if you move, I'ma blast you, fool. That was all. That was the only thing that was in my head. Is that she? It was a setup. This is the world we live in. You can't help nobody. Cause that little kid you think you helping, who just fell down to the ground, and you come over and say, "Little boy, are you all right?" And then he's playing, oh, I'm just... And then a van comes up and pull you and take you and throw you. You can't help nobody nowadays. It, it's sad. And, you know, we can't since we have the heart of gold. Like, we're always trying to help somebody, you know? Not no more, honey. I don't care who you are. Nope, nope, and nope. Because people are crazy. I'm telling you, that's all I, I saw in my head was this lady getting in my car, going to help her. Oh, I just got to take my medicine. She would have went in her purse. Bam! What you gonna do? So, no ma'am, you better you better go. So I'm telling you, any of my bimmies out there, don't you help nobody. I don't care if it's an older person, younger person, no. And learn how to say no. Unless it's someone that you know. And sometimes you can't even help the people that you know. Because they be up to some shit too. You know what I mean? So, no, if you in a parking lot and you get some lady coming up to you talking about she need a ride to somewhere because she got cancer and she don't, lady, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm not a doctor. I don't I don't know what to tell you. Look, the bus is, you need $2? I, I would have gave her $2 for the bus. And she would have said, here, yes, I'll give you $2. Let me just roll my window up. Roll the window up. I would have took the $2 out and threw it on my side. All right, bye, lady. It's $2. Get the bus. You cannot help people. We are in... A world right now where the survival of the fittest and by any mean any mean this people gonna do what they gonna have to do so if you are in a parking lot and you got anybody coming up to you you say you better back it up and be uh, aware of your surroundings you mean to tell me all these people in this parking lot you coming up to me the little the little and and you're your privilege you better go to one of your other privileged people and ask them, lady, golden girl. You better back it up. You better back the fuck up. Anyway, so that was... <laughs> that was one of my many stories from the weekend. And you can hear some other crazy stories on what? The Patreon. So go subscribe to the Patreon. But that was one of my... Was I wrong? Would you have helped the oh, golden girl lady? I, I wasn't helping. Sorry, golden girl. You better back it up. I, I can't help you, miss. It just did not feel right. All I, all you, you all know, I watch a lot, a lot of Lifetime movies. That is exactly how I go down in the Lifetime movies. You shopping, you got all your bags of groceries, trying to rush home. You know, just, just rushing. You gotta get home to uh, Mike. You rushing. Lifetime movies. They put the all the groceries in the in the, in the trunk. You slam the trunk, and then you looking for your keys to get in the car. And oh man, here come old Golden Girl. Hi, Miss. I was just wondering if uh, this is the Lifetime movie. And then the lady goes, "What do you? What's wrong, old lady? You know, I I just looking for and you being all concerned. What's wrong? I just and then uh oh, here comes a white truck. Outside that white truck, here comes Big Bubba. Bam." You in the back of a truck. And that old lady still in that parking lot doing the same old scam. Don't you help nobody in these streets. You tell them to back it up. Back it the fuck up. I, I'm sorry. You can't help people. You can't. You're better off helping people on the internet. You know. 
you, you, that's the only safe way to do it. I'm sorry. I couldn't help that lady. Anyway, moving on. So, my thoughts on the Wendy Williams movie. I don't have much to say because I kind of like knew everything that was in the movie. But I was just happy to see it. You know, you, you'd see it play out. I don't have many thoughts. I just... It, first of all, I just want to say it was a good movie. Better than that Salt and Pepper movie. Three hours of that crap. What was that? The, the, the horrible. That Salt and Pepper movie was horrible, honey. Now I'm hearing... Uh, now that Salt and Pepper is getting so much slack, they now want to try to reunite with Spinderella. And Spinderella's like, uh, 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 honey, the people is on my side. Y'all yeah, did this. Maybe Salt and Pepper, if you would have included some of Spinderella life, the movie would have been a little more interesting. But Spinderella's like, the uh, 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 the only way I would get back with the Salt and the Pepper is if they give me a public apology and I don't blame her. But... The Wendy Williams movie. Um, like I said on my Instagram, it was too short. It was too short. And then I had a couple of days to think about it. You know, this is 30 years, 30, 40 years into like not even two hours, but like an hour and a half. It wasn't but so much she could have said or done in the movie. You know, you had to get to the next part, the next part of your life, next part of your life. What I think they should have did was <clears throat> made it either a three hour movie like they did with that Salt and Pepper movie or they should have made it a two night event. It should have been like a Saturday and Sunday the whole weekend dedicated to Wendy. Um, and the first night I feel like it should have been focused more so on her radio career her radio success and on her path to getting her TV show because it was so much more that happened at Hot 97 that people who didn't know Wendy for the radio you wouldn't have known it was like a fight with her and another radio DJ I you know I wanted to see that in the first Wendy Wendy Williams movie that they shot uh, Queen of Media I'll talk about that in a second but um, they had that fight in that scene with Robin Givens and the lady who played Angie Martinez, but they didn't have this in the new movie. That was big. Like I, we should have saw that. Like I understand Wendy was saying something about Angie, and Angie didn't, and I don't know, but they had a little situation. You know, I heard somebody got hit and somebody, you know, hey, two piece in a biscuit. Um, so that was one situation. The, the whole situation with a. Uh, Puffy, I feel like they kind of just like, eh, like I wanted to see what led up to Puffy calling the radio station trying to get Wendy off, well, trying, he did get her fired um, from the radio station. Uh, that was another situation I wanted to see. It was just so, it was so much more that I wanted to see in a hot, hot 97 days, you know? I wanted to see more of her outfits. Like I was like, what are these outfits she's wearing? Like, it just... Like, that was not her. First of all, she was bigger than that. She, was a, she wasn't she was big, but she was way bigger. Um, I also wanted to see something that made her to start to wear her wigs. You know? Like, I wanted to see... Where, I wanted to see a point in that movie where she looked at her hair and said, I can't do this no more. I need to start... Wearing, cause that's big. When all she does, we never see her real hair. I think that's something that should have been in the movie on why she wear wigs every day. Okay, that was another situation I wanted to see play out somehow. Um, a lot of you all were saying that the situation with her parents and how she made them look like, you know how they made her parents look in that movie, like. They just called her a big girl. It, it it was it was just a lot that I wanted a little more. We wanted to see, but again, I had a couple of things, a couple of days to think about it. 
it wasn't but so much she could show in that movie. It was only an hour and like 20 minutes. Um, but there was another situation. She, Like I said, she's always talk about on the radio. I wanted to see that played out in the movie when uh, she used to always say she was having a hard time trying to breastfeed Kevin and and she had her mom come into the room and Tom let's go get the carnations she, you know when he was on the floor cried out I wanted to see that in the movie played out I'm sorry I just when he had, had told that story on radio or TV I wanted to see that in the movie um so again that should have been the first part of the movie and then the second night we should have got more so into her WBLS days, you know, WBLS played a big part in her success. And also that Whitney Houston uh, interview should have had, it, it should have had a little piece of that. I know it was in the documentary, but in the movie, that played a huge part in Wendy's career. Like I give you an example. When Little Kim wore that outfit to the 99 to the nineteen ninety nine MTV movie uh, music awards with you know her breasts hanging out, to me that was Little Kim's crossover to the next situation. With Wendy Williams, that interview with Whitney Houston was her next crossover to the so I just think maybe just a little pitch of that interview could have been in a movie. Um I just think it was a. It, this was more so her love affair with Kevin Hunter. I didn't get too much of her career in this movie. This was so more like the headlines that we were all reading last year, 2019. To me, that's what this movie was all based around was her and her Kevin love affair. It should have been the Wendy Williams and Kevin Hunter movie. It wasn't that like. It was like 20. 30% of her career and like 70% of the situation with her and Kevin. You know? Um, but I will say, I think Wendy wanted this movie done. However it got done, she just wanted it done. You know, the times we are living in, people are passing left and right. And I think she wanted this movie out because we don't know what tomorrow is going to hold. So she said, you know what? I want to tell my story before anybody can else can tell it. So I think she wanted this movie out now because you know with her health and the corona, uh, you know, the word and all that. You don't know none of us know what tomorrow's going to hold. So she just wanted to put something out just to say, "Hey, this is my truth." And I believe everything in that movie. Um as far as Kevin Hunter go, we only know what she tells us. A lot of us haven't, like, I've dealt with Kelvin on a f few occasions. I'll speak on him in a second. Um, but who's to say he was a this sweet guy when Wendy first met him? What was it about him that kept her around? What was it about him that made her feel like this is the one? You know, because... From that movie, Wendy showed us she was with quite a few men. And it's alright. You know, you gotta kiss a lot of frogs to find your... I don't want to say prince. But, you, you know, you gotta kiss a lot of men. You know? And I just felt like, what was it about him that made her stick around so long? And... I think what finally made her divorce him is when he did have the baby. Because I think she... Would have been able to handle the cheatings. Because ladies, your man is cheating too. All men cheat. Maybe it's two men that don't cheat. And it's not yours. I tell you all, all the time, all men cheat. Okay? Some women deal with it and say, hey, just to have a man. Some women out there deal with their man being by. Just that say they have a man. I can tell you all, the best life is the single life. Ain't nothing like living alone, being alone. And, and it, the single life is the best life. I don't care what none of you all say. You all mean, I don't care. You know, a single life is the best life. I would never. Oh, why am I so close to the camera? Let me back. Let me back it up. Um. So, what did you all think about this movie? I just think we should have got a little more. It should have been two nights. The first night should have been more so for the radio people who grew up with Wendy, and then she, the next night she could have focused on his love affair and the TV show. And I was left a little confused on a lot of 
different situation. And as far as the documentary go, child, by that time I, I was drinking, I was over it. I was all this, I was all this crying, and I'm a cancer. I get the crying but every minute. <laughs> <laughs> like damn girl stop crying so much I understand he hurt you but you know everybody <laughs> and child kept looking up at that TV I kept seeing uh, DJ Mr. C I was like look look a big old, big old queen on him let me tell you about Miss Wendy honey well she met Kevin through me Miss Thang and you know I brought them together we used to do parties with Foxy Bro. I was like look at big old queen um hey Mr. C um, <laughs> well, what did you all think? But I just want to say something. As you all know, I played. There was two Wendy Williams movies that were done. Um, this one made it to Lifetime, but there was one prior to this. It was called Queen of Media. It was where Robert Givens played uh, Wendy, and I played her intern Skeletor. And the movie never got. It, it, it was unreleased, you know. There's a uh, there's a, a trailer out there. If you go look somewhere, Queen of Media trailer with Robin Givens. It's somewhere. It's I don't know. Go look for it. But um, I just want to say something to Wendy and Kev. You know, just I, I I apologized on many many occasions. You know, when you're younger, you say and you 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 do stupid stuff like I'll be 36 this year yes honey this is, thir this is 36 honey you know at that time I was like 20 no I wasn't even 20 I was like 19 20 21 22 whatever I was young and you guys know I, I, I said some things about the director I said some things about Kevin you know I was just saying some things and you're young you know all that stuff came to me early and I was just like the big mouth of the set. And I just want to apologize. I don't know if these people still watch me. I don't know. Hey. But I apologize to Kevin and Wendy. And I, I'm truly grateful for what they were trying to do for me. You know? And I look at a lot of situations from my past. And I'm just like, yo, Bimbo. What was wrong with you, man? Like, I, you don't know. Like, it's people who was going to acting, acting schools. And people who were like... In school for being broadcast, you know, you know, doing broadcast, trying to get on radio. And me, all I did was come on YouTube and the media takeout and just talk some smack. And I had Power 105, at Lover, Malika, Malika Millette, hey, hey, um, Sarah. All these people were trying to, and I, I, I don't want to say I went, I burnt the bridges, but I was young, you know, and you, you don't. I can honest, I was young. That's all that you do is say stupid stuff when you're young, you know? And it might be too late now, but I've apologized to Kevin. Like, Kevin, he never, I, I, I never saw that side with Kevin. Like, whatever this, the people are saying, I mean, I've seen it. Like, I'm about to play something for you guys on the set from the movie uh, when I was on the Queen of Media set. I actually went up to Kevin and said, hey, it's Bimbo. And I told Wendy about it. I'm about to play something. Some of you all may heard, you may not heard, but here's something I found on. Give me a second, guys. Uh, let me find it. This is even back then. Kevin was on set scaring people, but I didn't get it as scary. It was more so. Look, someone has to be in charge here, and I'm letting you all know. I'm so I get it. But here's the uh, old. I just found this old video of. Me telling Wendy Williams about Kevin, her ex-husband on set. So, uh, take a listen, guys. Let me just find it. Hold on, here we go. And this just this go. This is just the go. This just goes to show you how much <laughs> Wendy used to love her bimbo. I don't know where we went wrong at. Hey, I still got love for Wendy, but I will say I did say some things in the past that now the older bimbo and the person I am now. You don't do that. When you got people trying to give you an opportunity, a chance, you don't go across them and try to disrespect them like, like I'm hello, I'm a bimbo. You know, I'm stupid. But here's just the audio of something. I don't know. But take a listen, guys. Let me know where Come on, let's gossip and then we'll get to bimbo's list. So, you know what I did miss? 
Bimbo let me know that there were performances last night at the lab. The lab, everybody, um, it was, it was gay at least last oh. night. Yeah. And the lab is, the lab oh. is on Sunday night. It's, it's gay. Okay. Wow. They um, to this is Wendy from WBLS. Okay, to give you the tea on what's going on on your movie set, Queen of All Media, child. Yes, child. But I will have my full report for you tomorrow. Oh, hold on. But it's coming up. girl... The something you used to wear. Oh, the clothes you used to wear Hold back on. in the Let day. Who much chow? Anyway, Hugh, uh, Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. Oh, here what? Go. Just please, just relax. James Wee says. Oh, here go. Kevin, I can't call him that when he's on the phone, Charlamagne. Bimbo. Lurking around, Pat, and I'm talking. All right, just listen. Who much chow? Anyway, I'll give you my report tomorrow. How did he get on the set? Bimbo. Lurking around, spying on people. Thank you, Bimbo. James Wee says, F. Kevin, I can't call him that when he's on the phone, Charlamagne. I call him that when I'm with you. I call him honey or Hef. Look, he says, Don't play me out now. I'm not. Just please, just relax. Everybody, my husband, Hugh, uh, Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner on the phone. Whatever. Hello, Wendy, darling. I left my notepad in the laundromat with my little report on what's happening as I snuck on the set of Queen of Media. However, I do remember some things, so I've jotted, jotted them down for you. First of all, I think 90% of the crew is frightened of your husband. What the hell are you doing over there? This is good half. Regulate. Snapping the whip. Cracking the whip. Making sure our money don't get spent on Shout out to Pecan and Guardian and everybody, but you know. He just has this thing about him that scares people. I think that's what Brownsville is in him. But I actually was brave enough to introduce myself to him. I went up to Hood Half and I said, What's good, Big Kev? My name is Bimbo. And he said, Oh, what's up, G? G? Wendy, I ain't no damn G. I'm a queen. No, I didn't say that. But I tend to act less femme when I'm talking to men, both straight and gay. I act more queen when I'm around women so they won't get turned on to me. But there are some women who can help themselves. All right, here's the rest. And, you know, honestly, power turns me on, too. Oh, brother. Uh, everybody knows. Shout out to everybody in Detroit. You know no, the, hello, bonus hour, bonus hour, he'll never understand my job, oh, well, okay, 10 years hour. in, he'll never understand, everybody. in New York, the whole staff, uh, the queen of media, you know, it's definitely popping, and the movies are on this fire, this fire, yeah, y'all not gonna be ready for what's gonna happen, so I'm glad everybody is, you know, on point. Do you want to hear the rest? No, please don't read the rest, and, uh, he just, he just, he just seemed to, please, please, please don't read the rest, please. All right, I'll wait until you get off the phone. No, don't. Well, I must tell you, Bimbo, Bimbo said that your bald head and your clothing. He wanted to know if you have a stylist. I don't care. Don't do that on the head, please. All right, everybody, shout out to the staff. Shout out to everybody. That's what's up. I'm gonna see y'all later. Exactly. Bye. There is no dinner. Go. Forty-five seconds delay. He'll be calling back at exactly six fifteen. Yeah. No, he says. You mean no dinner, yo? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. He just got that one just about now. No, he says um, that that he dresses very nicely uh, with the bald head and the clothes. And he also went on to say that Robin Givens is the spitting image. And he and Bimba goes on to say, Wendy, sometimes, to be honest with you. I picture if you were to get bigger than Oprah, in my opinion, I still think you'd be shopping at TJ Maxx and still looking for discounts and the, and the looking for sales. And by the way, there's a bodyguard. He's so nice. He's so sweet. His name is Biggie on the set of your movie. But Chow, the other day, I heard Robin getting into it with Biggie. But I don't believe that Robin really meant it because she's really sweet. But you never know. But anyway, once I get my notepad back, I'll be sending you the rest of my report. He says, also, 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 if you go on YouTube.com, there's a video of you getting booed off the stage at Hot 97 Summer Jam 1997. <laughs> All right. Um, and 
Top matter. <laughs> the first movie set when she did a Queen of Media that never was released. And I met Kevin, and I met Kevin a couple of times. However, he did, like, one time go in on me. This is after the movie was done. And I... My apologies. You know, I, like... I apologize to Miss Jones. Miss Jones is back on, uh, she's back doing a podcast. You know, I said things about folks that were, were, were mean. And again, my excuse was when you're young, you say stupid stuff about folks. And this is why when folks say stuff on Twitter, like celebrities said stuff about people 10 years ago on Twitter, they, you know, they say something about gays or whatever, ever. And they say, I'm sorry. I understand that because I've said stuff about people in the past that now we're like, Bimbo, what were you thinking? So you you got to forgive people. So I, I, you know, I do apologize to Kevin and Wendy because they, you know, hey, but I was young and dumb. And all you can do is apologize. That's all you can do. I mean, speaking of Wendy's husband, her ex-husband, excuse me, he's opening up. Are you all going to eat at his restaurant? Are you all going to, to eat at Big Kevin's restaurant? He's opening up a, an Italian restaurant in downtown Brooklyn called Loretta Devon. Loretta. Oh, I need to watch me a, a Loretta Devon movie tonight. Which one? Wait and exhale. Which, which was one of your favorite Loretta Devon movies? I liked her in that movie with Bow Wow when he won the lottery. The lottery ticket. That was a good night, honey. I remember seeing... Oh, let me tell you about that night real quick. Because every time I think about that night, I think about that night, I think about that night. I'm going to tell you all real quick. I had I, This is when the lottery ticket came out. I went to New York by myself. This is when I started going to the movies by myself, honey. And I went to go see that movie. Lottery ticket, right? And it was a good night. And then there was a bar on West 4th. West 4th. In New York's oh this used to be the days well soon I will have a little uh, piece of it again but not all of it just a little piece if you could just get a little piece of your past that's fine but you know hey that bar is now gone but it was a bar right there I used to always go to and they really didn't like you know us but once you get in and you go alone Sometimes you have to go places alone and you have to show people, look, whatever you think about me, I'm not that. And I don't give a damn if that's what you think about me because I'm not that and I'm just here for me a drink. I, I used to go alone and just be, you know, and I used to just be alone and just chill out. So I went there after I went to go see the movie, lottery ticket. It was a, that was a nice night, you all. It was a nice night because I'm going to tell you what it was. I had my little white leggings on and I was all skinny and I was looking so cute. I had, I had my hair like a... Uh, like a mohawk or something but I was looking cute so I went to that bar and I'm drinking and I saw these two trans it was these two trans girls and it was this fine he was fine honey he was like walking behind them all they was walking whatever the case was they he, he you know he was just like walking it was I was like oh he's fine and he was fine Gorgeous. This is the story I should be telling on my Patreon account because it gets a little crazy. I think I'm going to tell it on my Patreon. Let me write that down because it gets a little crazy. But I'll tell you this. I was at the bar and I was looking. I was like, look at them lucky. Look at them lucky trans. Like, you know, when I was regular bimbo and I walked and I was sitting there at the bar just anyway you all can go check out the rest of that story on my patreon I'll have it up like next like tomorrow or something I'll tell you all the rest of the story but baby that was a good night anyway I say all that to say are any of you all going to eat at this Kevin uh, Hunter uh, his new restaurant he's getting a lot of press so I'm sure he's going to you know it's going to people. It's, um, he said, uh, it's going to be in Italian cuisine. Mm, pizza. What do you want? Some pizza with extra pepperoni. Like, I know they're going to have slices of pizza. 
So I'll probably go in there and give me, can, I, can Kevin Hunter come serve me a, a slice of pizza with pepperoni, honey? I need extra pepperoni. Hey, Kevin, how much is a slice of pizza? Okay, they said that Kevin's announcement comes just days after Wendy poured her soul into her documentary. Wendy Williams, what a mess. Um, it's revealed about her truth to her marriage to Kevin. They said the TV movie was the highest rated in lifetime history. I'm sure it was. The way Wendy was promoting that movie, honey. Wendy let it out. You want something promoted, <laughs> goes to the winds. <laughs> I don't have nothing nothing else to say, honey. I got I'm gonna go. Let me can someone let me know what Star said. I'm curious to know what Star said on his show. Are you all watching the Super Bowl? Maybe I don't care about no Super Bowl. I don't care about no football. I never did, never will. But speaking of oh that's what I want to say. Speaking of uh football, baby, did you all hear about this? I'll give you all one more story. Not the T.I. and Tiny, because I don't care about that. But there is a transgender escort who claims that she, hook, she hooked up with... Uh, the, the, oh, he's an NBA player. NBA player Ben Simmons. Takeout.com uh, said. Uh, she said, I had a relationship with NBA star Ben Simmons and I have receipts. NBA star Ben Simmons is... He's kind of cute too. It's currently trending all over social media after a beautiful transgender model came forward suggesting that she had been carrying on a relationship with the NBA star. Media Takeout has learned. And the trans girl who goes by the name of seems to be suggesting that she and Ben Simmons had a relationship. You know. <clears throat> According to her, he even offered to fly her out. So that the two could spend some quality time together. Must be nice girl. She went on Instagram last night in an effort to expose her alleged relationship with the NBA star. Fans of the star quickly came to his defense. You know how you old. Oh my god, he can't be gay. He you know, oh shut up. And called her a liar. And that's when she started pulling out the receipts. First she sold a Snapchat conversation that appeared on Media Takeout News as if she and Ben had contact over the social media platform. Then she showed a message where Ben appeared to offer to fly her out. And the story gets even stranger, y'all. According to the woman, Ben suggested to her that he wanted his NBA teammates to run a choo-choo on her. You know, a choo-choo. The girl posted what she calls evidence, a screenshot of Snap which appears to show Ben asking her to do something with five guys. First of all, I still have to Snapchat. I don't. I'm deleting that. I don't know how that crap works. I don't know how to Snapchat network. I like. I can't do it. I, I can't do it. I'll stay on my tag and my Twitter. Y'all can have that Snapchat. Like I want to see some things, like Trey Song things. On the Snapchat. How do I see them things? I'm following five people on the Snapchat. I don't see nothing. Hello, where are these things that you told me to follow you? Or you all know what I want to see. You all know what I want to see. I want to see the Trey Songs things. And speaking of the Trey Songs, I said what I really had to say on my uh, on my uh, Patreon. The video. What did you all th What did you all think about the Trey Songs video? A lot of you all going crazy. Baby, you all need to get out the house. Because if you think that's something, you ain't seen nothing, honey. But I will say, shout out to Trey Songs, who is now finally making his fans only page interesting instead of just showing. Like, I'm not subscribed to none of these OnlyFans pages because you can go to places to find these things. But I will say, shout out to Tiger. Tiger showed a thing, honey. Man, y'all want me some of Tiger. Tiger show the things that we that OnlyFans is about. Trey Songs is just starting to show the things. <sighs> Life guys, what did you all think about the Trey Songs video? Let me know. Like I said, go to my Patreon. I tell you all what I really think about the young lady who was doing that horrible job. Girl, what was you doing, sis? What was you doing, honey? 
You need some help. Let me back it up. Let me show you how you handle this. Handle it like a real. Well, what? Taking an. Yes, yes, what? All right, you guys. Those are all my notes. <laughs> but I will say this. Thank you to my uh, Bimmies who's been on this roller coaster ride with me up and down up and down who's who's as I prepare for this next chapter in my life hopefully it's a good one but I will say you guys I need help so go below if you want to donate something to the GoFundMe if you want to donate something to the Cash App, if you want to subscribe to my Patreon, um, hey, it is what it is. But I love you all, and next week is going to be another show. It may be from here, it may be from there, but I'll I'll hit you up again. Subscribe to my Patreon. You all can get what I really thought about the uh. Trey Songs video and other things on the Patreon. So, like I said, baby, it's only twelve ninety nine, honey, twelve dollars. You, right. girl, put them cigarettes down. Put the cigarettes down. All right, now I, I hear that Cardi B is about to release a new song or video. I, I'll, I'll let you all know what I think about that too. And what you think about this Ben Simmons, baby? I believe it. All right, you guys. I'll see you all next week on the show. On the dance floor, I don't give a fuck. I'ma take that dick and take it out my butt. I got a juicy ass and a big ass cock. I got no this weight, I just won't stop. I'm not covering, but I get super head. I'ma choke on that dick until I'm dead. I'm a nasty hoe, I'm a freak bitch. Come on, people, y'all watching that addiction shit. Oh, yeah, zipping, zipping low.